like you guys did today and last week as well, how much I mean, confidence does, does that give you when you rack up 28 points in the first quarter like you did today? Which Definitely gives us – oh, yeah. Um, just coming out locked in uh, from the jump uh, with, with great uh, great energy. Um, we did a, a great job this week just uh, preparing, um, just really dialing in on the little things. <clears throat> Today, led the team in tackles. Just how good does it feel to get out there and, and, and play a ton of them? Man, honestly, it was just truly a blessing. Like, coach, every day, every week, he talks about everybody being ready, everybody being prepared. And my name was called, and I just went out there and did what I had to do. I'm just being on the same page. Um, I'm, we're starting to really gel and um, get a good feel for um, one another. Uh, those guys are incredible athletes, and they make great plays when the ball's in their hand. I just try to get the ball to them as soon as possible. You, you got a throw to Tillman where you kind of led him into a hit mm -hmm. after he was down a little bit. You came up. What did you say to him when he kind of got back to the sideline? Did you apologize? Or did yeah, you I told him I'd take him out to eat <laughs> <laughs> since I uh, ran him to a hit. So. Brandon, it's their first time to, to talk to you. Why did you choose Tennessee and what's the experience been like? Um, I chose Tennessee really because the coaching staff, like really Coach Hype and Coach Martinez and Coach Banks, really just keeping it like strictly 100 with me, you know, and just telling me that I would have to work for everything that I wanted, and I was up for the challenge. So what's that experience been like for you so far? Um, it's, been, it's, it's been a real great experience, like just learning from these guys. Like they really know what they're talking about, and I really feel like they had my best interest and still do. Hit on, on the first drive, there were 14 plays. Eight of them were called passes. Was that the game plan going in, or was that an adjustment based on what South Carolina was doing? Um, mix of mix of both. Um, you know, the, the guys upstairs have a have a great mind for the game. Uh, so does Coach Hype, and um, you know they dial up some great plays and some great looks, and uh, we go out there and execute them, and that's the result. Um, yeah, a little bit. Uh, just really just uh, I could kind of tell throughout the week we're a lot more focused and uh, dialed in, like I said earlier. Um, just try to keep that momentum um, going throughout the season, honestly. Brother David and then Wes. Brandon, can you talk about, you know, when you're at Alabama, a lot of times it takes time to get an opportunity. Uh, it took you some time here a little bit too, but today you had it. What was it like just getting so much playing time running around out there? Honestly, like coming from Alabama, like, it was like every day in practice was really kind of like a game. So in game situations now, it doesn't really affect me because of what I have been coached in the past, like by Coach Saban. And, and now these new coaches, like all of these guys, like have really prepared me like for whatever. Brandon, when did you know you were going to get the call today to, to go in? I mean, I know that you guys have been banged up, so it's in your mind. But when did you know you were going to be the guy? Yesterday. Yesterday. So Yesterday what afternoon. Your mind when you do Nothing. Just, I was ready to go out there and play. Uh, go to Ben and then Eric. And then you had a couple of turnovers in those first couple of quarters. You played early in the season, but you've been really efficient not turning the ball over the last couple of games. Just what has changed for you in that department? Um, nothing really. Um, my track record has always been taking care of the ball. Uh, when I go out there and do my job, that's, that's part of it. Um, the ball is the team, so I got to take care of the team at the end of the day. Um, Really just getting comfortable in the offense um, in a game-like situation has, has definitely uh, benefited me. And now that you've kind of solidified the, the quarterback job, have, have you had to kind of remind yourself to maybe take care of your body on, on run plays, or are you still kind of doing you on those plays? No, I'm out there playing ball. I, mean, I try to. Um, all the coaches and, and my mom always tell me, you know, get down, don't take no hits. <laughs> but, uh, you know, when I'm out there, I'm just playing ball, having fun. So it's part of the game. Yeah, um, you know, just having having a upbeat tempo um, is our goal in every play. Is to go as fast as we can, literally, um, every play. So um, when we do accomplish that, great things happen in the back end. How long do you think it, it takes defenses to kind of get their feet under them and get used to that in the, in the game? You can never get used to that on defense. 
It's impossible. No, sir. Um, really, like I just know it all. Like I know, I know star. I know safety. I know, I know almost every position. So it was really like, boom, hey, you're gonna be playing star tomorrow, and I knew the game plan. So and coming into this year, I mean, did you feel like when you got here that you had a good chance to play early, and if so, was it frustrating I mean, the first time? I was really just gonna take it a day at a time because I knew I was a new guy, had to adjust to the system and everything. And you know, as guys that's been here. They have an opportunity. I have an opportunity. So it's really like whoever, whoever goes out there and practices the best, that's who plays. Who plays. Hendon, you're up 38 to seven at halftime, 99 yards gained in the second half. Do you think the offense relaxed any? Yes, I do. I think like we, um, we relaxed, took for granted um, in the third quarter. Uh, really, really just came out in the fourth quarter uh, and trying to make a statement and, and punch one in the end zone, which we did. What do you think you relaxed? Um, I don't know, big lead, uh, it happens um, time to time, but you know, we just gotta uh, stay on one another, um, hold each other accountable to um, just add like the score is zero, zero. <clears throat> For both of y'all, how big of a win is this just to keep the excitement going? <clears throat> well, I'll say this is a big win, but we just take it a game at a time. Next week, we're on to next week. Same, I feel like every win is the same. Um, it's a one game season every week, so we just approach it as that. Yeah, and the coaches put the ball in your hands early a lot, especially on first downs. How does it feel for uh, to have their confidence in you to get the uh, offense jump started early in the game? Um, it's a it's a blessing. Uh, really, I, I mean my my teammates um, really help me out in the long run. <clears throat> The guys around me really uh, elevate my game to another level. So uh, with the ball in my hands and those guys around me, uh, the whole team is is feeling confident on the field. Another David and Ben T. Hannah, can you talk about your touchdowns to Javante? It looked like you had opened the game with some slants in the sideline mm -hmm. routes. And were you surprised to see him that open? And do you feel like you kind of lulled them to sleep with the play calls before that play? Um, not really. Uh, I tell Javante week in, week out, like no one can guard you. Like let's go, let's go ball. Um, I have confidence in all my receivers uh, to make the big play whenever, whenever the number is called. And uh, Javante was there to to finish it. And I don't know the exact stat, but in fewer games here, you've already far surpassed passing touchdowns compared to your time at Virginia Tech. What mm -hmm. do you think's been the biggest difference for you, or how how much you, or, or the biggest way that you've been improved since being here? Uh, just being more decisive and uh, more consistent. Um, a lot of long hours uh, working on my craft, so um, I'm, I'm blessed to see it paying off. All right, let's do the last two, uh, Jimmy and then Austin. And then do you like running the football, and if so, why? Uh, I mean, I, whatever it takes for the team to win, that's what I'll do. If it's throw it or, or run it, uh, I'll do it to get the job done. Does that go back to your high school days? Uh, yeah, <laughs> I guess it does. Just for both of you guys. What did you know about Al Wilson before this week, and then what did you take away from him and listening to him and, and all that stuff? Well, honestly, I didn't, I didn't really know anything about Al Wilson until I got here. Like, we talked about him, like, in previous weeks from now. But, like, today, like, the energy they brought to the locker room after the game, like, I like him. I like him. I like him. <laughs> yeah, um, he's a VFL uh, legend. Um, always, always great to see those guys in the building. Uh, we see a lot of, a lot of tape on him. Um, real energ energetic, uh, just mean linebacker that uh, had his way with any offense. So um, it's always great for those guys to come back and, and give us a couple kind words after the game. And his shoulder pads. <laughs> <laughs> awesome. Thanks, guys.